Good afternoon, YouTube. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, this article from Dave Hodges, The Common Sense Show, certainly bears repeating. It's things many of us have been watching and talked about and opinionated on in the past, but I think at this stage of this whole game, it, it bears repeating once again. Um, Putin controls the chessboard and Obama's in deep trouble. Keep in mind the, re uh, the installment of Rahm Emanuel back into Chicago, the, uh, the last legs of our petrodollar, the Syria, Iran, Israel, United States conflict, and, and all of these things that are coming to a head, the, the FEMA coffins, all the arms are uh, being bought, all the ammunition being bought by a, a domestic uh, force. Ed Snowden told us that we we're being spied on. Everyone outside the sheep in this country already knew that. Therefore, it's child's play to conclude that Snowden has damaging information which could threaten the survival of Barry's administration. And the fact that Putin controls Snowden's information release is a threat to this president. In the years I have been investigating the antics of this criminal government, this is the easiest dot connecting exercise I have ever seen, this gentleman says a measure of Obama's desperation. In order to capture Snowden and silence him, Obama's minions used raw force to make the jet of sitting president of Bolivia to land and then proceed to search the plane for Snowden. This was an unmitigated act of war and speaks of Obama's desperation. Um, as I previously stated, I believe that it is likely Michael Hastings had the same information and had to be eliminated. What information that, if made public, could change the world or topple Obama? In order to answer that question, it is important to look at what has been the obvious goals of this administration, who serves the Federal Reserve with undying allegiance, as well as a recent look at events which are related. And we'll go on down the line one. And not to say that I agree or disagree, overall I agree with this, but bits and pieces, question mark. The petrodollar Ponzi scheme is under extreme pressure as Iran has sold its oil for gold to China, Russia, and India. And we know that China is just buying up physical gold plus physical uh, turf in this country. That what we don't owe them already. This is a move threatening to spread to other Arab nations. Therefore, the Arab Spring was needed to enforce petrodollar compliance. Um, Storm Clouds Gathering is real intelligent on all of this, and, and it, I just that came to mind as we go. Obama was moving to attack Iran last fall when the Chinese and Russians threatened to nuke the United States if we do so. Three, the U.S. followed a backdoor plan to weaken Iran by taking down its closest ally, Syria. Our Al-Qaeda forces in Syria are proving less formidable than Obama had hoped. Four, the U.S. people are war-weary and wouldn't support another war. Only a clever and horrific false flag um, attack which could fool the sheep and return the tide of public opinion, uh, opinion into favoring going to war. Five, Snowden defects and eventually ends up in Russia. The importance of this event cannot be overstated. Six, Obama stops beating the war drums as loud against Syria and Iran because Putin is obviously blackmailing Obama with the release of Snowden's information. Uh, or supposed from Snowden. You know, I don't know what the truth is, but how, how, how could you? The war drums have grown eerily silent, haven't they? Seven, Michael Hastings is murdered. He obviously had some of Snowden's evidence and was in close contact with WikiLeaks, as was Snowden. It becomes easy to believe that Hastings was going to uh, be the conduit for the release of some of Snowden's revelations. There is another desperate act by this desperate, determined president to stop Hastings from being the big threat, as, as big a threat as Snowden. And many have suggested that Hastings was trying to get to the Israeli consulate. consulate. Obama would have had two countries with blackmailing information to potentially use against him. Hastings should have known better. Eight, the only thing which would cause desperation among Obama people to attack the Bolivian president and murder Hastings would be uh, to cover up the fact that a false flag was being attack, planned. Attack was being planned, and that was discovered possibly by Snowden and Hastings, and Barry's trying to cover his tracks. And now we'll go on to the first dot um, that in, in a list of things that, that seem to line up. For individuals who think a false flag upon Chicago sounds crazy, ask yourself why Rahm Emanuel, 
the most likely a Mossad agent, would leave a high-level cabinet post in the Obama administration and step down to the relatively lowly position of being mayor of Chicago. The simple and obvious answer is that this foreign asset was put in place to carry out a task of overseeing a false flag event so big, so devastating that the Obama administration would have their pretext to execute martial law and, and you know, which would certainly fit into their plans and, and blame it on somebody in the Middle East, commence war in the Middle East once that was established. The, the mysterious death of Chicago activist Jeff Joe Black, who claimed that Emanuel was put in Chicago to oversee the upcoming false flag event. Black, along with We Are Change Chicago, who had organized a Block Emanuel election, which was based upon the fact that he was not a resident of the jurisdiction in which he was running. Black wanted to come on this talk show here and expose Emanuel's agenda. Black at the last minute canceled an appearance, went into hiding, and was supposedly murdered in hiding. Um, in this gentleman's mind, Black's murder strongly validates the aforementioned assertions. Black had told him that we were going to witness Chicago becoming the site of a massive false flag attack which would be the catalyst for martial law. Black asserted that Chicago would experience a massive wave of house-to-house -house gun confiscations would be, be conducted by foreign troops. It was Black's contention that this was the lead up to the implement implementation of full-scale martial law and then potential probable war. Black's assertions were not without merit. Black stressed to uh, this gentleman here that Emanuel would have control over the law enforcement response to any emergency. His actions could exacerbate the effects of any attack. Certainly in his role as the city's chief executive, he would be in a posi position to thwart a meaningful investigation into the coming massive false flag attack in the critical early hours following the event, just cause all kinds of chaos to keep, uh, keep him from seeing what's being done. But at any rate, Emanuel has the power to turn off all security cameras uh, and control the placement of personnel and provide context for plausible deniability for Barry's administration such if such an attack would occur. Third dot, if a false flag operation was in the works for Chicago resulting in the rollout of martial law, wouldn't the globalists beta, beta test the plan as they probably did here? To, accur to accurately add fuel to this false flag fire opinion, there were plans in place for massive evacuations of downtown Chicago in reaction to possible riots which might have taken place from May 20th and 21st in 2012 at the Chicago NATO summit. Um, we've seen that South Chicago was under martial law during these two days. Local officials were asked to make plans in order to assist residents in the event of a mass exit from Chicago. The Chicago, NATO, the Chicago NATO summit was merely just a beta test for the real event, as were things we've seen in other parts of this country, just beta tests for the real event. Fourth dot, it is a, it's apparent that the similar warning has already been issued to key people from Chicago so they can stay out of harm's way. Unless you are a coincidence theory, the, unless you are a coincidence theorist, does anyone else find it interesting and care to speculate on why President is not planning to return to Chicago in 2016. He's going to Hawaii, you know, not back to the Hyde Park properties in Chicago. The fifth dot, and the time that Snowden defected, all of the coincidence theorists find it interesting that the IRS, the AP spy scandal, and all these other things, return of new Benghazi facts, um, the, the media hype was just over the top. Snowden's revelations were being that we were being spied upon was a big yawn. What are the odds that were five water gates released in one short period of time? It was damage control and they had to go about it that way. That's how desperate they are. The sixth dot. As long as Putin controls Snowden, he can paralyze the most powerful military in the world. Time is running out for Obama. He can no longer silence Snowden the way he did Hastings. Therefore, the option, what option does Barry have? If he goes to war with Russia, he would bet that Snowden's revelations coming out of Russian enemy 
would wouldn't be listened to and bought by the the peoples that's what he'd have to gamble on obama needs a war just not to appease the federal reserve he needs a war for his presidency to survive until 2016 but the war weary americans and the only action that could jolt the us out of its fluoride psychotropic drug induced stupors would be a horrific false flag attack and you know there's with rotten rom down there it all makes sense to me I, you know I, I that's all I can say on this have you bought your present an important birthday's coming up the seventh dot on December 23rd 2013 the Federal Reserve turns 100 years of age and their charter for is up for renewal or not okay so they they're they could they're worried about that obviously so to catch a criminal you have to think of as a criminal if I were as evil and as desperate as this president and I needed a war to save my ass I would have to launch a fat false flag attack and blame my intended victim this would allow me to suppress any resistance to the coming war and once all once of all get rid of the constitution that gets in his way there's still another compelling reason to launch a false flag um, and and that goes on to talk more about the feds but at any rate I thought this article certainly bared repeating spooky music to go with it take care have a good day stay, stay safe stay smart and and may God bless all of you who ask him to it's contingent <laughs>